What do you do when you want to create a metal material like copper or gold? Do you pick the specular color from an image and every time you achieve different results? If you want to create the most scientifically accurate metal material where all the attributes are determined by real world values including the color of reflection, there's a better way to do it by using real world data. So today I want to show you how to create physically accurate metal material using Octane in 3ds Max. Usually in other renderers like Corona or V-Ray, you can create all materials with one material. But in Octane, as you know, there are different types of base materials for different surfaces. For example, you can use glossy for plastic material or specular for glass and for creating a metal material in Octane you need a metallic material so first I will choose a metallic material there are three ways you can create a metal material the first one is the artistic mode which is the fastest but not so accurate and you can change the specular color to create different materials right now it is set to value and one means full white zero means black and everything in between equals gray i can change it to color and pick colors for example for creating copper i can search copper in google and pick the color by eyedropper if you don't know how to pick color from outside of 3ds max check out my previous tutorial links are in description now as you can see i'm picking color for gold material if i change the ior aka index of refraction nothing will happen as you can see i will change it to ior plus color and now we can change the ior and it says it will use ior and a specular color to change the material parameters okay it's time to get a little scientific and use real world values we can get these values from a website called refractiveindex.info which lists all scientific values from real world materials all right i've just put the website and 3ds max side by side so you can see where i put the numbers so from here choose 3d selected data for 3d artists from metal choose gold so here we have two numbers refractive index or n extension coefficient or k here's the place you need to put the n number And here's the place you need to put the K number. Now our material behaves exactly like gold. As you can see by changing these numbers, nothing will happen. Just the first slot when you enable the IUR plus color. Again, you need to change the color to change the color of a specular and create a gold material. And that makes it not to be entirely physically accurate. So the third option gives us the ability to make the most scientifically accurate material where all the attributes are determined by real world values especially the color of reflection so when i enable the rgb ior mode you can see by changing the specular color nothing will happen to our material again we need to go to the website and extract numbers from there but you can see there is no rgb values here so we need to put the red green and blue wavelengths here and then again copy the numbers if I open up the Octane manual in metallic material and RGB IUR section, you can find the RGB values. So we need to copy these numbers. And as you can see, these numbers are nanometers. So I need to divide it by thousand to change it into micrometer. I know this might be a little confusing, so I recap everything one more time. So here we have the RGB values, the refractive index website and material editor. So First, we need to convert the nanometer to micrometer by dividing it to a thousand and then grab the number and put it here and put the N and K values here in the material editor. As you know, this section is for N and this section is for K. And you need to do it for all three values and put it here. For example, for green, you grab the green change it to micrometer, put it here, which will be 0, 055, and then grab the N and K, and put it, and put it here, into this. 
and do it for blue and that's it and by the way if you like this video give it a like and if you want me to create more of these tutorials don't forget to subscribe to the channel all right let's just do it And there we have it, a physically accurate gold material. But how can we further enhance it? First of all, I will change the BRDF to something like GGX or the newest GGX, which is energy preserving. There is also a new BRDF model in Octane called STD and not only it's not dangerous, but also you can control the spread of highlights. For example, here I increase the roughness and by changing the spread, you can increase or decrease the spread of highlights. I just stick to GGX for this one. Increase the roughness a little, like so. The difference between GGX and GGX energy preserving is if I change this one to GGX and increase the roughness, at higher values it will turn into black. But in energy preserving, this will not happen. All right. We can also add imperfection to the surface by adding a noise texture. And there is also a complete course on noise texture in the channel. You can check that out. First, I will increase the octaves, increase the details. I will add a gradient texture to control the bump. I just needed a subtle surface imperfection and you can also add the scratches and more and more details to your material. If you don't have time, I've also created a bundle including different types of physically accurate metal materials and you can download them from my Patreon. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.